one good way to avoid reverse polarity hookups um, which will cause burns and smoke and destroy different electronic equipment um, you like we like to use these XT60 connectors if you see um, they have a flat end and then they have this angled piece here so there's only one way they can fit into each other properly. Now we have some 12 gauge wire, red, which will be the plus. We have the black wire for negative, and there's some heat shrink to put over the solder joint so that you can avoid any shorts in the future. Uh, I have some wire strippers not exactly the correct size but we'll make do with what we have um, I have some solder I have some little clamps here um, this will avoid burns when used properly um, and I know many people may not have sensitive hands but for those that are learning and really don't want to burn themselves it's a good idea to use some sort of clamp um, now in the back I have a soldering iron. Um, the soldering iron heats up to 400 degrees Celsius and towards the end I will also use a small heat gun to put this heat shrink on properly. Alright so for now I'm going to move a few things off to the side and I will first strip off a small section of each wire. So we don't need much with these connectors. And that's that's really all you need is just about that much. Um, you see it will end up fitting very well into the connector. So now I'm going to do the red wire. Pull off any little loose pieces of wire that we can make sure that our solder is good and clean. And so I'll take the solder, unwound a little bit, turn on my solder and iron. And so let that heat up. Now I'm going to tin the ends of the wire. You don't have to tin the ends of the wire, but it's a good practice because it allows for a quick and easy solder when you go to connect it. And we'll just clean it up so that it still fits into the connector very easily. I'm going to cut my heat shrink uh, with just with a razor blade. Uh, this heat shrink, you're going to want to get your cut edges as straight as possible so that they will line up well. And then once heated, they won't show much of the actual metal part on the connector. I'm going to take it. You don't need much, just maybe a half an inch or so. Try to get it fairly straight. And then before we solder, you're going to want to put it on each end, on each wire. And then that way, once you're soldered, you can just slide it up and it'll hit the connector and then you heat it up. Right, so now I'm going to take one end of the XT60 connector. 
And if you notice on the sides, we have a plus. And on the other side, we have a minus so that we know which polarity is going to be on which side. So first, I'm going to put these in our clamps. Flat side plus is up. All right, so the connector's in place. I'm going to put a little bit of solder in there. And you'll see the solder start to flow once it's on the connector pretty well. Then just slide your wire in there that's already tin. Put some heat on it. And all the solder will start to link up. Right now, it's going to be hot around the connector. So you're not going to want to put your hands on it. Uh, I'm just going to flip it. And then I will tighten it up so that I can do the other side easily. And again, put a little solder in there. It'll start to flow once it's properly heated. And just slide your wire in. Keep a heat on it. And now our black wire is in there pretty well. Okay, now we have a good solder on both of the wires. We want to cover that so that we can avoid any shorts in the future. Um, so I'm just going to put the heat sink up. You want to try to get it flush to the connector. And that way once you heat it, it should be right up against the connector and you won't have to worry about any shorts. So right now I'm going to pull out my heat gun. Um, this is simple pedal heat gun. I have a pedal on the ground. I activate it with my foot. Turn that on. And there we are. Um, now there's very minimal pieces of the metal still showing. Um, it may be a good idea to just cover that with some electrical tape or even a larger piece of heat sink that may cover right over the edge of the connector and on to both of the wires. Um, now this is a pretty good job but just if you want that extra protection, then you can go right ahead.